So how far do you have to be off the coast of Australia before you can go flat out? 20, 20 miles. So 20 miles off the coast and pointing away, uh, we can safely break the speed of sound and, and not break any windows on the ground. So tell that's us a little nice bit about the training, because obviously people out there who are looking up at that jet going, I want to do that. Yeah, that's right. So it takes, uh, on average, around three and a half years of flying training. And uh, before that, most guys will do three years of a, a degree as well. So six and a half years of study uh, before you get to sit in the cockpit of uh, the Hornet. And uh, it's a lot of hard work, but after that, it's, it's great fun and there's a lot of perks to the job. What's he doing now, Peter? This is uh, what we call a dirty pass. So you can see he's got the landing gear down, the arresto hook at the back, which is used for landing on carriers. Melbourne with a car is a fantastic achievement and to 